I figure if my kids need to hear this five times in a row, then someone else's kids needs to hear it too. Your dad works way, way, way too hard for you to complain about one job that can help him, okay? So your job is to take your bag and I want you to first start in the window wells. There are three window wells. So each of you take a window well. I want every tiny leaf picked up. I want every apple, all the garbage. That's what I want done, okay? And then collectively, come out here and do out here. I want you to get all the apples, all the like dead leaves, all of those kind of things along this strip. We have some terrible news, I think. Did you see a mouse? Where? So what I saw, like it was at the clip, like super grassy, like ran straight from there, like into like where it uh. And like I could see him moving then he threw a rock in there and he like, probably on the other side. Oh my gosh. I mean, was like, so mm -hmm. that is closed, which means there's probably a mouse in there. Ew. So these know. are the kinds you can't see. I haven't even looked at them. Can, does it feel like there's something in there? I don't know. Set it right here, and when dad gets home, he'll look at it. I have to just open the Disgust. Device. No, we are not doing that. I don't know why we have mice, but that's why we keep things clean and set out our mouse traps. Continue on. <laughs> Pretend like you never saw it. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I feel disgusting. I feel, I hate, I hate mice. I hate mice. Tonight we are having kind of the same thing as we had last night. Not quite leftovers, but sort of. The chicken's in the fridge, or fridge, in the micro, in microwave, yes. Ooh, my teriyaki chicken on the grill and just pan fried vegetables with Mrs. Wages. So it's no, healthy? No, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Somebody. Anyway, I think we may have caught a mouse. Yeah, I think we can already open it. Did you already open it? No. Oh, yeah. There was nothing in it. It was closed? Yeah. Maybe just a grasshopper. Where was this one at? Behind there. Okay. And it didn't have a mouse in it? Mm -mm. Yeah. Maybe I'll reset the bait so it's fresh bait. Where's the okay. other? Okay, come in and get ready for dinner. Okay. Are you ready for orientation? Sure. <laughs> Will any of your teachers recognize you? No. <laughs> Will any of your friends recognize you? <laughs> Maybe. Are we going to make new friends? Yes. And we just won't know what they look like? Yes. <laughs> okay, it sounds good. So you can probably go like this. Like that. No, okay. Clips. Something Sorry, you guys clip. are all going to have to learn is to leave your masks alone. Mm. It's, it's very thing. difficult. It's so annoying. You feel like if you, you just need to far. draw your makeup on exactly what you would look like right here so that you look just like you. And they'll be like, Can you put a mask on? And you'll be like, I do. So when you get assigned a locker, these are going to be the lockers. They're big. That's awesome. So nice. We're just going to walk through and see if we can't find some of your class. By the way, if you go down in this, we will post a video of my locker haul. So if you want to see that, that will be in the description below. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> that was <laughs> a little stressful. I just took my mask off. I was like, it was rubbing my makeup off the whole time. The realization hit Olivia. We were walking through like the class, you know, like to the different classrooms because that's new this year. Yeah. And I was like, well, Olivia, I'm showing you where the classrooms are. You need to figure it out yourself. Her eyes filled up with tears. Her face got really like, red. I don't think I'm gonna remember any of this. Uh, so we went through it, and did you remember it? Yeah. Yes, she got through it. And then, when Olivia was feeling at her worst, someone said, are you, are you vloggers? And Olivia smiled. I was like, yes. And she introduced herself to us, and then we introduced you to her. You have a new friend named Serena. And so at least you'll have one friend that you know. Yeah. See, it's not hard and she was brave and introduced herself to us. So, Olivia, do you see how that works? Introduce yourself to people. We definitely, we're gonna go get Olivia a notebook because you need to be able to write things yes. down. Actually, I don't, I don't, yes you will. We'll go get you a notebook. We figured out when you're gonna have your lunch, all the things. How do you feel? Good. Do you, honestly? Wait, what, doors day open? Does what day does it start? I don't know. Next week sometime. We'll go home and figure that out. Okay. Write it on the calendar. Olivia! It's gonna be so fun.
Do you honestly feel better about things? Oh, we didn't ask about a dress code. I guess we'll figure that out. If I come home on the first day, don't be surprised. <laughs> Is it any wonder that we dream to this day that we can't find our classes, that we don't know our schedule, that we show up to school <laughs> without our clothes on? Is it any wonder? After being with Olivia today, it's like, okay, it's no wonder that I'm still to this day dreaming of all that garbage. And it's in thing is is like it's not that summer's over that bums me out this time of year it's the school starting that it's just like anxiety <laughs> I never get anxiety but that just like it's like downer just it's the downer one thing month. that gets you yeah I'm just like well the heck with it screw it <laughs> August is here <laughs> school's starting the world's ending I know I know it's such a it's such a bittersweet thing because I loved school. It's where we met. Were you just looking at the stain on my shirt? I saw <laughs> you. I literally saw you eyeing the stain on my shirt. We just got done having a conversation. So my neck is like all red. It's okay. It's the end of a really big day. <laughs> big day. It's been a big day for Olivia. I think this is a really big different what is that what is that right there a rock okay i was gonna say if that's mouth poo you tell okay that was a rock i genuinely was like i was gonna ignore it the and then look at it ever. after after the clip but i was like i can't i can't sit on it if it's mouse poo it's not mouse poo this has been a big deal for olivia and i was telling bonnie i said i remember the night of back to school night seventh grade so that was like Seventh grade was our junior high year, so we were done with elementary. We, me and you had just met that summer. Mm -hmm. And I remember being nervous to see you. But I remember having like one of the only breakdowns I think I've ever had in my life that night. I still to this day don't know what was bothering me. I don't know what was going on, but I just remember being like, things are changing, life's not normal. It's not as I know it. Being excited, but scared, but just everything. And I remember thinking, Olivia, is going to be the exact same way and yep. she is and that's okay and she's so brave to allow us to vlog it mm -hmm. and i asked her i'm like do you want me not to bring the camera and she's like no i want you to bring it mm -hmm. and that's part of that is the people pleaser in her but also part of that is just she's i know that she is consciously making the choice to not let what other people think of her get in the way. Mm -hmm. And I just want everyone to maybe think that way going into school. Because back. I saw it! I thought! No, that's too small to be a hummingbird. Are you sure? Yeah, I because I saw it out of the corner of my eye as I was vlogging and I just kind of didn't say anything. Isn't that funny? <laughs> as all of you guys are going back to school, if you're a child watching this or if you're a parent maybe you can give this advice to your kids is no one is worried about you you're the only one worried what other people are thinking mm -hmm. nobody's thinking anything mm -hmm. nobody is thinking anything mm -hmm. and the onesie twosie people that are who cares nobody cares about them pound sand what feels like a big deal just isn't it just isn't and you have to convince yourself of that and maybe this is me giving my young self a pep talk <laughs> <laughs> what i wish i had known at seventh grade yes you were gonna yes. meet your husband no i did i did i met you when me yet go for it <laughs> i did tell olivia that i said you know that junior high is when me and your mom met and i was like who knows who you're going to meet this year? You're going to meet somebody that could be the love of your life or you could just meet new friends or who knows. But I saw a bunch of little kids walking around the school and I just thought, they are all they all feel the same. Mm -hmm. They're all nervous. All scared little kids. Be, be confident in who you are because when you're confident, that's when people are the most attracted to you. Mm -hmm. Who am I the most attracted to? The confident. goofiest looking suckers around. 
the goofiest looking suckers around and I'm just like, yeah, I like you. It's confident. because they're carefree. It's like, just, yeah. just be you. Mm -hmm. Just freaking be you. I swear. Okay, we're closing the vlog. Love you guys, bye. Bye.